Getting a data scientist job is like a dream these days. If you are a fresher, then getting yourself into well-respected club of data scientists can be considered as lifetime opportunities. Rewards are twofold here, one in terms of good salary you are going to get and second, you will be able to get lot of opportunities to learn new technologies in whichever company you are going to join. If you are an experienced professional, then it's equally rewarding to you as well because now you have acquired these skills so you can try to apply for big companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, etc. This way you can get a both salary hike and a resume having a brand name on it. But wait, you have acquired skills in machine learning and deep learning. You have also done certain certifications. Still, you are not getting the interview calls. So what exactly do you need to do in order to get the calls or interview calls related to data science opportunities or jobs? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to explain three additional skill set a data scientist should acquire in order to not only start getting interview calls, but also crack them. You will get a glimpse of a skill set you need to add in your resume. Please watch this video till the end to get the two bonus tips using which you can make your resume stand out from the crowd. These bonus tips will be shared at the end of the video. Like and share this video if in case you learned something today. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So consider your resume is floating in the job market and your resume has all sorts of skill set mentioned in it. For example, statistical techniques like hypothesis testing, chi-square test, machine and deep learning algorithms like support vector machine, uh, linear regression, random forest, k-means, etc. Programming languages like R or Python, as well as some uh, visualization libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn, Plotly, etc. Now, you might already be aware that every other person who is applying for the data scientist job has all these skills mentioned on his resume as well. So how can you give yourself an edge over others as well as make yourself shine? Well, the answer lies in three segments and I will go in reverse order from data science lifecycle perspective, giving priority to the uh, skill set which a data scientist should definitely possess and that number one priority skill set is platform specific skills like machine learning model deployment. These days, every data scientist knows how to develop a machine learning model based on a given problem. They also know how to perform a data exploration and data cleaning activities on the data set provided. But do you know that most of them doesn't know about how to deploy their machine learning model in the form of a web application or microservice. You could develop the web app front end for your machine learning model using lightweight Python framework like Flask. You could build a beautiful lightweight web applications where you could just enter the input values on the front end and can get the predicted results related to your machine learning or deep learning model right there on the front end screen developed using Flask framework. The machine learning or deep learning model sits at the back end only. As far as model deployment is concerned, you can deploy your machine learning model on cloud platforms like Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud, uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, free cloud services like Heroku. You could also uh, touch various other tools and technologies like Docker, Kubernetes to deploy them as microservice. So in a nutshell, you can try to acquire some of these data engineering uh, specific related skills as well. If you want to get the complete understanding of how to develop the machine learning model as well as deploy that model uh, as a web app using Flask, Docker Container and Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform, then you can watch this series. Link of the series is given in the i button above and in the description section as well. Please note that Microsoft is a paid service after you consume free $200 worth of resources. 
if you want to see how to deploy your machine learning model on free cloud service like Heroku, then you can watch this particular video series. Link is again given in the i button above and in the description section of this video. So I would suggest that you should expand your knowledge and acquire these um, uh, machine learning model deployment related skills as well because in this way companies don't have to engage an additional engineer if their data scientist knows the steps to deploy the machine learning model in the production. You will then be considered as full stack data scientist because then you would be aware of entire data science life cycle. Then once you acquire these skills, mention them in your resume. This way when you float your resume in the market, you would definitely start getting the interview calls. Number two skill set is product centric skill set. So most of the data scientists these days think that their responsibility is just to establish hypothesis perform uh, you know exploratory data analysis clean the data develop the model and create few visualizations whereas the reality is is that you need to know how can you develop a machine learning or de um, deep learning or ai based product because most of the companies these days uh, try to build a specific product if it is a consultancy firm then they would try to sell it or give a license of that uh, particular product to the potential clients or buyers so that they can earn some revenue. If it is a product based company then uh, they will try to build an AI or machine learning or deep learning based product so that they can make the best user experience for their customers. So you should acquire the skill sets uh, like uh, you know uh, natural language processing in order to build uh, products like Google Assistant. Uh, Alexa, Siri, uh, build customer uh, sentiments and emotion based products, uh, text to speech uh, based products, etc. By the way, if you want to learn how to convert speech into text and build a voice uh, command based application which can take your command and perform some action, then you can watch this video series, link of which is again given in the i button above. Now one suggestion I want to give is that uh, don't rely on specific python packages. Try to get the intrinsic details of the way NLP works, mathematics behind converting text into numeric form, understand the reason behind converting text into numeric form, how can we combine uh, you know, together uh, different words according to their context in which they are being used etc etc. So this is mainly because uh, bigger companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google uses their own NLP packages which are not exposed to the outside world. So if you get a chance to work with these company, you will be able to pick up very easily. And these were some of the examples only. You can broaden your horizon as you dive deeper into it. You can also go through my natural language processing playlist where I have covered most of these topics and I'm going to add few more videos in the coming days. Secondly, you can acquire another skill set in the product centric category and that skill set is time series analysis. You can learn various uh, algorithms like ARMA or auto regressive moving averages as well as ARIMA which stands for auto regressive integrated moving averages. Using these skills, you could forecast the stock market indices hence can build a uh, stock market related products. Time series has usage in healthcare sector uh, as well. Hence medical related products can be built using time series. It has usage in energy uh, demand forecast as well as internet of things. Hence time series based products can be built for these sectors as well. So I would suggest that you should expand your knowledge and acquire time series and NLP or natural language processing related skills as well so that companies can find value in choosing a candidate like you. Number three skill set is data extraction related skill set. So most of the companies uh, engage their data engineers or in some cases data analysts as well to fulfill the data specific needs and requirements of data scientists. This is mainly because data scientists are not expected to extract data from different sources like relational database, NoSQL databases or scrape it from web. They are only expected to perform descriptive uh, statistics, perform 
exploratory data analysis or clean the data as well as uh, you know perform some feature engineering and build the machine learning model and this was until uh, some time ago when companies started mentioning some data extraction uh, related capabilities in the job description so you might not find these capabilities list listed at a granular level but expectation is that a uh, data scientist should know how to extract the data from different data sources now you might be wondering why companies have such expectations from data scientists when responsibilities are clearly defined for data engineers and data scientists well the answer is adoption of agile methodology by more and more companies to deliver the projects or product these days companies wants to remove dependency whether it's on person or on process they want to deliver the project or product fast enough and hence they expect that data scientists should not wait for data engineers to extract the data from different source systems companies want to cut short this wait time hence you as a data scientist should acquire skills to extract data from no sql databases like mongodb extract data from relational databases like mysql sql server extract uh, you know yearly financial data from websites using apis or application programming interface extract any web page specific data by doing web scraping then you can simulate the data for classification clustering or regression algorithm or problems all of these tasks can be done using python language and hence you will definitely shine if you possess all of these skill sets if in case you want to acquire all of these skill then you can watch my machine learning and deep learning bootcamp series link of which i have provided in the i button above and in the description section of this video this way when you yourself extract the data you pretty much know all the required feature you want to extract and hence can do feature engineering in a better way thereby developing better machine learning models believe me if you have all of these skills and have in depth knowledge around these skills then nobody can stop you from getting that one dream job or a bigger salary hike moreover you may even get an opportunity to get into the reputed brand names or companies your resume will not be considered as common resume it will definitely catch an attention of the recruiter if you mention the keywords associated to the skills that i have covered here provided you also have thorough knowledge around them just putting the keywords in the resume won't work trust me if you learn and acquire these skills and mention all the required keywords as well as include all the necessary sections in your resume you will definitely get an interview call if you want to understand how a winning data scientist resume should look like then watch this video from my uh, data science tips and tricks and career advice playlist link of this particular playlist is provided in the description section of this video so as promised in the beginning of this video here are the bonus tips number 1 try to create a github profile develop certain pocs that is proof of concept or small projects and start uploading the related code on github make sure your code is clean it has proper comments about a specific line of codes or function that is you should explain what that particular line or of code or function is doing then provide the link of your uh, github page in your resume please believe me uh, providing a github link in your uh, resume is a big differentiator these days if in case you want to know how to write a production level code in data science then you should definitely watch uh, this video series i have provided the link of this video series in the i button above secondly you can also try to write blogs about knowledge you have gained so far the benefit of doing that is uh, that it can give the potential employer or company a bright picture of the skill set you possess which you are showcasing to the entire world through these blog posts these additional pointers can make you stand out from the rest of the crowd thereby helping you uh, to get the interview calls as well as crack those interviews so folk ho hope you liked this video if yes then please hit the like and share button if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video 
सो थैंक्स फॉर हैंगिंग आउट विद मी गाइज आई विल बी कवरिंग नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो सो कीप ऑन वॉचिंग थैंक यू